Hi guys, I uh, hope you're well. Thought we'd do a very quick video of the Porsche 911 Gambala. This is a very unique and stunning piece of kit. Uh, you rarely come across these on the market. Uh, in fact, it's probably the first one that's ever been advertised in the UK market. And I have to say, it's a pleasure. Uh, and we are extremely lucky to be able to have the exclusiveness of advertising this um, stunning piece of kit. So what I thought I'd do is a very quick walk around video of the car and uh, give you a quick overview of uh, what's so special about it and uh, the design features and, and why you should put this in your collection, especially if you're a Porsche enthusiast. So this is actually called the Gambala Cirrus. Um, it was actually specifically designed for the owner of the Gambala brand himself, Uwe uh, Gambala. Um, he actually wanted to design something that was quicker than any other Porsche out there. Um, so this car in particular was based on the 930, 911. Many of you may remember back from the 1980s, one of Porsche's greatest production cars to date. Um, that was one of their quickest cars. However, he decided to go ahead and manufacture and engineer an additional 230 brake horsepower into this. So this really is a special piece of kit. Um, as you can see, it's in pearlescent white. It's got a few additional features on the body kit, so you can see an additional body bumper, uh, which lowers the car from the front, makes it a bit more aerodynamical in terms of cutting through the air. Um, as you can see, it's got a wide body kit on there as well, so covers over the wheels with the BBS rims. Absolute stunning piece of work over there. Um, this is very interesting, the side streaks, um, some of you may recognize, it was actually copied from the Ferrari Testarossa. Now he was a big and avid fan of Ferrari, uh, but decided he wanted to put, add a few design features onto the Porsche himself. So uh, big, big design, uh, design feature on the Gambalas are the side streaks, which were from the uh, Testarossa. And uh, what is absolutely stunning on this, and this really gets me excited every time, is look at that wide stance from the back. How stunning is that? Look at how wide this car looks from the back, with the, especially with the air coming back in as well. It's such an aggressive looking thing. Um, yeah, it is probably the most powerful car made in production in the, around the 1980s. Uh, so it really is a special piece of kit. Now I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up, but if you look closely at the paintwork, it is a pearlescent white, but you've got a sort of electro blue uh, sort of tint going through the car uh, under different shades of light. Now this paintwork, I personally think is, is going to be very tough to try and match. So as you can tell, and after we've done our checks in our detailing center, this car's original panels, original paint, no signs of any damage whatsoever, uh, but really is stunning. The car's also got an additional $20,000 at the time sports exhaust on there, which was extremely lightweight. Um, it meant that it's straight tail through pipe, no back boxes, no mid boxes. Uh, sounds phenomenal. Hopefully this camera will pick it up in a bit. Um, plus reduces the weight as well of the whole titanium exhaust system. Also, as I mentioned before as well, the car's got an additional 228 brake horsepower. Um, however, Gambala himself did have the help of the engineers from RUF. So a lot of work's gone into the engine alone, and um, I promise you, the way this sounds has actually been compared to an F40 as well. A naturally aspirated flat six. Uh, forget the turbos, we're going old school. This is stunning. So in all honesty, I can't wait to get this on the market. Um, hopefully, Magnus Walker, if you're watching, this is gonna be another one to add to your collection. And um, yeah, you know where to come if you wanna add one of the most exclusive Porsches. Uh, in your collection. See you later.